How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to The Coronavirus Explained and What You Should Do by In A Nutshell. Alright, so uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know that much about the coronavirus. I know like a lot of people are overreacting, like they're buying toilet paper. Don't know why toilet paper, but they're buying toilet paper like crazy, and hopefully this, <laughs> it's probably not, it's probably just gonna go like the scientific route, as every In A Nutshell video does, but I, I wanna know why toilet paper, why, like, why do people decide to stock up on toilet paper of all things, like, I'd stock up on medicine and stuff like that, but toilet paper? I don't know. But yeah, I'm super excited to go to this one, because... Like I was saying before, like, I, I don't know that much about the coronavirus. Like, I I don't know if people have the right to freak out as bad as they are, or if it's everybody's blowing it out of proportion, or what. But this is why I'm watching this video, is to keep me informed, and y'all guys should do the same. Watch the original video, but watch mine too, because I like the views. But, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's just, it's just unknown to me. And I know it's... People are trying to say, like, hey, stay indoors if you can and stuff, which is no problem to me because I work at home anyway, so I, I very rarely leave my house. So it's no issue for me to quarantine myself or my daughter or anybody else that lives in this house. But, uh, what's it called? I, I understand why they want you to because they don't want it to spread. And I totally understand that. I mean, there's no for sure cure for it yet, and uh, that's kind of scary, but... I don't know, like, I don't know. So without any further ado, here is the coronavirus explained and what sh you should do. In December 2019, the Chinese authorities notified the world that a virus was spreading through their communities. In the following months, it spread to other countries with cases doubling within days. This virus days. is the That's crazy. severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus 2 that causes the disease called COVID-19 that is. everyone simply calls coronavirus. Better. <laughs> what actually happens when it infects a human and what should we all do? Don't stock up on toilet paper. The monkey had toilet paper. <laughs> I'm feeling we're gonna see toilet paper a lot in this video. A virus is really just a hull around genetic material and a few proteins, arguably not even a living thing. It can only make more of itself by entering a living cell. Yes. Corona may spread via surfaces. As but I touch my face in this video. It can survive on them. Its main way of spreading seems to be droplet infection. When people cough, or if you touch someone who's ill and then your face, oh. say rubbing your eyes or nose. I don't the virus starts touch my eye and then hitches a ride as a stowaway deeper into the body. Its destinations are the intestines, the spleen or the lungs where it can have the most dramatic effect. Even just a few coronaviruses can cause quite a dramatic situation. The lungs are lined with billions of epithelial cells. These are the border cells of your body, lining your organs and mucosa, waiting to be infected. Sweet. Corona connects to a specific receptor on its victim's membranes to inject its genetic material. The cell, ignorant of what's happening, executes the new instructions, which are pretty simple, copy and reassemble. Exactly. It fills like, up yes, with sir. More, and more copies of the original virus until it reaches and then it a gets critical bad. point and receives one final order, self-destruct. The cell sort we learned of that about the away, cancer video. New corona particles ready to attack more cells. The number of infected cells grows exponentially. After about Dang. 10 days, millions of body cells are infected and billions of viruses swarm the lungs. The virus has not caused too much damage yet, but corona is now going to release a real beast on you, your own immune system. Oh, that's bad. The immune system, while there to protect so you, can like actually AIDS, be pretty dangerous way? to yourself and needs tight regulation. And as immune cells pour into the lungs to fight the virus, corona infects some of them and creates confusion. Oh, cells have yeah, that's a problem. Eyes, they communicate mostly via tiny he was so cute before. <laughs> cytokines. Nearly every important immune reaction is controlled by them. Huh. Corona causes infected immune cells to overreact and even murder. In a sense, it puts the immune system into a fighting frenzy and sends way more soldiers than it should, wasting its resources oh, no. and causing damage. Two kinds of cells in particular wreak havoc. First, 
neutrophiles, Spiky. which are great at killing stuff, including ourselves. As they arrive That's in probably their thousands, they start pumping out enzymes that destroy as many friends as enemies. Oh, the other yeah, important that's bad. type of cells that go into a frenzy killer T. are killer T cells, which usually need to stop touching my face. To controlled <laughs> suicide. Confused as they are, they start ordering healthy cells to kill themselves too. Oh. The more and more immune cells arrive, the more damage they do, and the more healthy lung tissue they kill. Dirty. This might get so bad that it can cause permanent, irreversible damage that leads to lifelong disabilities. Oh, that's In not good at all. In most cases, the immune system slowly regains control. It kills the infected cells, intercepts the viruses trying to infect new ones, and cleans up the battlefield. It's a full factory Recovery reset, begins. that bad boy. The majority of people infected by corona will get through it with relatively mild symptoms. But many cases become severe or even critical. We don't know the percentage because not all cases have been identified, but it's safe to say that there is a lot more than with the flu. In more people cases, over 60, yeah. I knew that part. Epithelial cells have died, and with them, the lung's protective lining is gone. That means that the alveoli, tiny air sacs via which breathing occurs, can be infected by bacteria that aren't usually a big problem. Okay, so patients that's pneumonia, when things... Respiration becomes hard or even fails, just about and to say patients that. need ventilators to survive. The immune system has fought at full capacity for weeks and made millions of antiviral weapons. And as thousands of bacteria rapidly multiply, Ooh. it is overwhelmed. They enter the blood and Whoa. overrun the body. That's if this happens, very death bad. is very likely. Yeah. The coronavirus is often compared to the flu, but actually, it's much more dangerous. Hi. <laughs> While the exact death rate is hard to pin down during an ongoing pandemic, we know for sure that it's much more contagious and spreads faster than the flu. That is true. There are two futures for a pandemic like corona, fast and slow. Which future we will see depends on how Hopefully we will react to it in the early days of the outbreak. A fast pandemic Stay will be horrible and cost many lives. Yes. A slow pandemic will not be remembered by the history books. Good. The worst case scenario for a fast pandemic begins with a Don't very you do it, bro. rate of infection because there are no countermeasures in place to slow it down. Why is this so bad? In a fast pandemic, many people get sick at the same time. If the numbers get too large, healthcare systems become unable to handle it. There aren't enough resources like medical staff exactly. or equipment like ventilators left to help everybody. People will die untreated. And as more healthcare workers get sick themselves, the capacity of healthcare systems falls even further. If this becomes the case, then horrible decisions will have to be made about who gets to live and who doesn't. The That's of deaths messed rises up. significantly in such a scenario. To avoid this, how would you world, do that, that though? Means all of us needs to do what it can to turn this into a slow pandemic. Exactly. A pandemic is slowed down That's by the That's why they responses, say to quarantine especially so. in the early phase, so that everyone who gets sick can get treatment and there's no crunch point with overwhelmed hospitals. Since we don't have a vaccine for corona, we oh. have to socially engineer Jerry our dropped the ball on this one like a social vaccine. This simply means two things. Not getting infected and not infecting others. Although exactly. it sounds trivial, the very best thing you can do is to wash your hands. So yeah, like, is why is that such a bad thing? Just tool. wash your hands. The coronavirus is encased in what is basically a layer of fat. Soap breaks that fat apart and uh -huh. leaves it unable to infect And you. destroys it. It also makes your hands slippery, and with the mechanical motions of washing, viruses are ripped away. To do it properly, wash your hands as if you've just cut up some jalapenos and want to put in your contacts next. Oh no! The next thing is <laughs> social distancing, which is not a nice experience, but a nice thing to do. Yes. This means no hugging, just no handshakes. A little further. If you can stay Six feet home, apart. Stay at home to protect those who need to be out for society to function. From doctors to Essential. cashiers or police officers. You depend on all of them. They all depend on you to not cashiers get Cashiers need sick. a pay. On hey, a larger race. level, Big time. there are quarantines, which can mean different things from travel restrictions or actual orders to stay at home. Quarantines are not great to experience and certainly not popular. That's how I live my life. Us, <laughs> and especially the researchers working on medication and vaccination, crucial time. So if you are what the are you doing? You understand why and respect it. Are you licking a None window? Of this is fun, but looking nah. at the big picture, it is a really small price to pay. 
The question of how pandemics end my depends on how they start. My glasses. If they start fast with a steep slope, they end badly. Yes. If they start slow with a not so steep slope, they end okayish. And in this day and age, it really is in all of our hands. Literally. Literally. Ah! <laughs> A huge thanks to the experts who helped us on Wanna short to notice with this video. I'm especially sorry. Especially Our World in Data, the online publication for Is research and data on the world's largest problems and how to make progress solving them. Awesome. Check out their site. It also includes a constantly updated page on the corona pandemic. Okay. That's very interesting. There's the toilet paper. <laughs> All right. That was, that was very insightful, like always. Like, a lot of that stuff I did not know, and I'm so glad that there's channels, like, in a nutshell... And stuff like that, that that it helps everybody like better understand it like they put it in such a such a i used it before in one of my earliest in a nutshell reactions what did i say little bite-sized pieces to help you understand and i really really appreciate that like because i i didn't know like i'm sure a lot of people don't know like the actual what the coronavirus is like i thought it was just like a different type of flu which it's kind of that but it's way worse because People could get contaminated way faster and it just spreads way rapid, may, way more rapidly, which is very, very bad. But yeah, and here I go touch my face again. <laughs> I tried. But uh, yeah, th this video was very, very insightful. I really enjoyed it. Uh, just for the, the knowledge aspect of it. Like, yeah, of course, I like all the animation and stuff like that. His his voice to narrate and everything. Super enjoyable as always. But just, just the knowledge part of it. Like... It, it, it really helps you to stay informed with stuff like this, like especially a, a global phenomenon like what the coronavirus is becoming. But uh, don't don't just like brush it off, like do your part to help other people that can't like their body literally cannot fight it off. Like older people, like it said, people over 60 years old, like they could get it like that, like super fast. And it's just like, why wouldn't you want to help people like just by doing literally nothing, just wash your hands and don't go out don't get close to people like that's really all you really have to do but yeah my little on top of the soapbox is over so <laughs> thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i will see y'all in the next episode later days <laughs>